Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Graduation is always a time to look back and remember the stages that have brought every student to this point. Graduation marks goals, dreams, and accomplishments achieved. It also marks the beginning of a new journey to greater goals, dreams, and accomplishments. This is the time of gathering graces and blessings received through the years. Together, with grateful and joyful hearts, we offer our thanks to the Lord. School year 2019-2020 is over, reminding us a line in a song that runs this way. Now, the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. Through the school year is ending, our faith is continuing. This is the rational way we are here professing the faith and expressing the gratitude to God for everything amidst frustrations, trials, and challenges. We offer to God our accomplishments, congratulate our parents for all the support, moral, financial, and physical, all the members, our administrators for our academics and guidance, classmates for their company and our banding together through the years. As we move on to the celebration with the entrance team, we all welcome the lectors, the priest from celebrants, Reverend Father Gaudencio Puga, SBD, Reverend Father Edwin Fernandez, SBD, Reverend Father Danny Lucas, SBD, our presiding officer, Reverend Father Mary Joseph A. I. Chenda, SBD. Let us all stand together as we are going to sing our entrance team.
embracing us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
favors of the Lord I will recall. The glorious deeds of this Lord. Because of all he has done for us. For it is good to the house of Israel. He has favored us according to his mercy and his great kindness. He said, They are indeed my people, children who are not disloyal. So he became their savior in their very affliction. It was not a messenger or an angel, but he himself who saved them. Because of his love and pity, he redeemed them himself, lifting them and carrying them all the days of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be. Let us exalt his name together. Forever I sought the Lord, he heard me, and delivered me from my fears. Let us exalt his name together. Forever I sought the Lord, he heard me, and delivered me from my sins. At all times I will bless him. His praise will be in my mouth. My soul makes a boast in the Lord. The humble man will hear with him. The afflicted will be glad and join with me to magnify the Lord. Response. Let's exalt his name together forever. I saw the Lord and he heard and delivered me from my sins. The angel of the Lord comes round those who fear his name, to save them and deliver them from harm. Though lions roar with hunger, we lack for no good thing. No wonder that we praise him with our song. Response. Let us exalt his name together forever. I saw the Lord and heard and delivered me from my sins. Come, children, now, and hear him if you would see long life. Just keep your lips from wickedness and lies. Do good and turn from evil. Seek peace instead of strife. Love righteousness, and God will hear our cry. Response. Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. 
for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the nether world shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Especially our dear parents and guardians. You know, 
you are part of this big celebration. Of course, it's a different way of celebrating that. But if we put things in the higher order of life, this was instilled by the gospel today, how would we know God? How can we know God? Maybe it was St. John who tells us in his writing, the more you love God, the more you know God. And this should not be diminished. In us. Your education has put you to a, to a certain degree of knowledge. Your formation here has brought you to a different perspective in life. That values matters. That principles of life matters. That kindness, that goodness matters in life. All because it is our way of knowing God better. Because the more we value life, the more we love life, the more we love other people, the more we value other people, it's our only way to know better God. And this should not be diminished, especially to you or dear graduates. We are sending you off with this higher value of God. You have not been just educated. You have been born in a very special way. As Christians, as Catholics, as divinians. You have what it takes now to go out there because we are confident that you have been born, that you have been born, and that you have been educated the best way possible that this institution could ever be. And congratulations to all of you. You have made it, and there's something more to be, to dream, dream of, you know, better things in life. So if tomorrow comes, in a brighter day, just look at the sky with the bright colors of the rainbow. Paint it with hope, with more aspirations, with more push and inspirations in life. And we are one with you. Once a dominion, always. Congratulations and God bless all. May we all rise. Let us commend to God our prayers. Lord God, we thank you for the good news that you have heaven. Your fatherly love involves every creature including us. In this faith, we lay our petitions before you as we pray. Loving Father, in your mercy, hear us. Loving Father, in your mercy, hear us. Shower your blessing and wisdom on Pope Francis, the bishops and all the priests as they minister and serve those entrusted to their care. We pray to the Lord. The Bestow our government officials the spirit of wisdom that they need to do their duties responsibly and with integrity. We pray to the Lord. Pour out your compassion and mercy on all your children throughout the world so that peace and forgiveness may reign in our world today. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, in your mercy, hear us. Bless and inspire our school community that she may remain steadfast in her mission and commitment to the instrument in the integral development of the pupils and students entrusted to her care. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, in your mercy, hear us. Inspire our administrators, faculty, and personnel to make Christ present and alive through their uns unselfish and loving service to everyone. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, in your mercy, hear us. Bless our dear parents, guardians, and family members who have helped us with love and generosity, that they may always have the strength to continue to support us. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, in your mercy, hear us. 
direct and enlightened our graduates as they continue to uphold the ideals and dignity of our school wherever they may be, and they may live out the gospel values and virtues they have learned in all their our endeavors. We pray to the Lord. Love the Father and your mercy. Reward eternal peace and eternal life our deceased relatives, teachers and staff, and benefactors who serve in this school and the students and pupils who study in our school. We pray to the Lord. Love the Father and your mercy. Listen graciously, Lord, to our prayers and petitions. All we ask through Christ's Amen. Amen. Yes. 
Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, the Nantor Bishop, and all the clergy in the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the line of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that in the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
dahil si Abiyah kaya't marampat dan po kinaransak na awan ng patinggana. Amen. Loving Father, thank you for the gift of knowledge and wisdom that we acquired from this institution. Thank you also for the spiritual information that the school has provided us. As we immerse ourselves in this challenging world, we hope always that your divine word, together with our blessed Mother Mary, Saints Arnold and Joseph, will be there to guide us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O God, our Father, in this spiritual food you have given us back the sacrifice we offer you in thanksgiving. The saving sacrament of Jesus, your Son. By these gifts of strength and joy, sustain us in your service and bring us to your gift of eternal life. Grant your sons and daughters who have shared this Eucharistic celebration may continue to live with your Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your hands to pray for God's blessing. May God of all consolation bless you in every way and grant you peace all the days of your life. Amen. May God enrich you with gifts of faith, hope, and love that what you do in life will bring fulfillment and happiness in the life to come. Amen. May God free you from all harm and anxiety and strengthen your hearts in love. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so the great descendant, let us go in the love and peace of God. Amen.